Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded Dead God Plus series. We are jumping in once again. Unfortunately, Tainted Azir's a loss last time. Not the greatest on my part. I, I really should have played that different, but it is what it is. We're jumping in with a bit of Lilith and I actually quite like Lilith. Actually, no. Do you know what? No, I have... No, okay, I'll continue. I was going to play Greed, uh, or Greedier, but I actually don't have an unlock for this character. It's only the Tainted characters that have unlocks, so... I'll, I'll refrain for now, but I'll do that soon if people want to see it, because she is a really fun character to play on Greedia, and of course we do have the mod that makes it so that she starts with the uh, child's leash and gains your tear effects, so she should be a lot and a lot of fun. She should be a lot and a lot of fun. Let's keep her going. Let's keep her going. And for the question of the day today, ooh, Pyromaniac is pretty good. For the question of the day, kind of a simple one, but what's your goal? What, what is your goal in life? Where do you want to be? Where's, even if it's just the next thing you want to do in your life after school, after the job that you're in, or if, if the job that you're in is where you want to be right now, um, what is some goals that you have? It'd be cool to know. It'd be really interesting to see where people want to be. I'm actually really content with my life at the moment. I'm <clears throat> relatively happy. I think one of the only real goals that I have at the moment is to reach 10k subs, and that's only a really, honestly, quite minor goal, because I'm very happy with how my YouTube is going right now, and it seems that we're trending um, towards 10k anyways, so I don't really have to worry about it so much. Uh, but that's always been sort of my, like, YouTube long goal to get to 10k, and so far, so heckin' good. It was, it's been a long time in the making. I've actually been doing YouTube a lot longer than most of you probably know. Obviously, a lot of you that watch nowadays have only really been here f since the Isaac days, um, since the Repentance days. Some of you might have been here a little longer than that, but a lot of people came along from Two Left Thumbs or um, my work with BD1P, stuff like that. I don't know. People uh, have come over sort of when Repentance started getting a bit bigger uh, when it came out and stuff. But before that, I was actually, I actually did a lot of different stuff on YouTube. I, I kind of refactored my whole channel when Repentance came out just because I was... I'd been so in love with Isaac, but Isaac was kind of... It was doing okay on the channel. I was uploading it before, but I was only uploading it like twice a week, and it wasn't really a priority game for me. I'm definitely, yeah, like I guess I'm definitely taking damage here. These flies are the worst. Um, But yeah, um, it was never really a priority game for me, just because, like, even though there was mods, there was no really new content to cover. And... Getting something like Repentance is a lot different than playing mods, because it's like, you know it's all going to be fitting, you know it's all going to be super well polished, whereas modding, there is a lot of highly polished stuff, a lot of the stuff I use is highly polished, but it's not quite the same, is it? It's not quite the same as getting some official content, so I was kind of waiting for that before it became a big focus on my channel, but before that, I actually started off doing mainly Enter the Gungeon content. I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of series out there that a lot of you, this is really annoying, this rock is just like perfectly in the way, it keeps stopping just behind it. Um, a lot of you probably don't know the amount of Enter the Gungeon content I used to do, but I actually, very first, I kind of started my channel in a bit of a weird way, so, I initially, okay, that was not a great hit, I initially started my channel creating Call of Duty videos, actually, uh, you can actually still find them on my channel, if you want to go back all the way, way back to when I first started my YouTube channel, there is around... 12, 13 episodes of Call of Duty Black Ops 3 of me absolutely shitting on kids. I was doing mighty well, um, just because I really liked that game and I really liked Call of Duty. Um, I was really good at Call of Duty. I mean, I still, I wouldn't say I still am amazing at it, but I'm still good at it, I think. <laughs> um, we don't want to get more Red Hearts here so we can make use of Pyro, really. Um, but yeah, I actually started out doing Call of Duty and I really, I, I kind of, I'm glad to say that I stuck with the same philosophy that I do now. If you go back and look at my old videos, I mean, the sound quality isn't great, the video quality isn't amazing, but one thing I do that I'm, I'm still proud of, like, to this day that I did my older videos and still to keep up now, is one of the one of the sort of cornerstones of my content is being enjoyable, entertaining, but also informative. I try to teach people how to play the games that I'm playing, especially the ones that I'm good at. Obviously, there's other games out there that I'm not so good at that I just play for entertainment, um, hello, little thingy. You watch... I was just about to say, you watch, um, it disappear when I walk back in, but it didn't. Um, but yeah, Holy Water's great here, because now we get two of those. Um, but yeah, so I, I, I started out doing pretty much the same sort of content I am now, where I do, I play games, and like I said, it was Black Ops 3 at the time, because I was just really good at that game. 
Um, and it was kind of like the cornerstone of my content creation was I wanted it to be entertaining, but I also wanted it to be informative and explain why, why I'm making the decisions I'm making and sort of try and help people get better at the game. And I still try to do that, especially with Enter the Gungeon and Isaac. I still try to explain the items I'm getting when I can um, and kind of go over the decisions that I'm making somewhat. Obviously, it's a little more relaxed now because I think most people, this is, oh my lord, three hits from that guy. That guy is an absolute annoyance. I need a soul heart. Damn it. There's an eternal heart there, though. That is not what I wanted to see. Grab the eternal heart real quick. Um, yeah, uh, and I think, I think I've definitely kept up with that now. And it's just, it, it's kind of good that one thing that I've always sort of said to myself is I should be able to go back and watch, god damn it, I hate this. I should be able to go back and watch my own videos and, and enjoy them. I should I should be able to go back and watch my videos and be like, that was a good video. And with with my Call of Duty ones from way back when, I still do. And I think they I think they're from about five, maybe six years ago now. Um, but I've been doing YouTube like this, where, where like daily content, roguelike content, for about four years now. I actually started off by. Um, it kind of spawned out of procrastination. I was uh, in university and I was just not having a great time. Oh my god. Game. Game, please. Don't let me lose this. Um, don't let me lose this. I said don't let me lose it! You shit of a game! You piss baby! I said don't let me lose the eternal heart, and what do you do? You piss all over me. You piss, baby. Why? I needed that. You shitter. You better give me some HP up here. You gave me a soul heart, at least. Fuck you. Fuck you. I do I'm just gonna take this. It's not a great idea, I realize. Um... Plus one black heart. Might as well take that as well then. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. It's fine, it's fine. Ah, <sighs> God damn. But yeah, I actually started off um, doing a lot of Enter the Gungeon and out of procrastination of university spawned me wanting to make an Enter the Gungeon tutorial because I just, I was pretty good at the game at the time and there wasn't really much tutorial content out there. This is a real hell of a room. There wasn't really much tutorial content out there for the game. Um, so I was like, do you know what? I'm just going to make like a beginner's tutorial running through the first level, giving tips about secret rooms and all that sort of good stuff. And it did surprisingly well. It's still to this day one of my most viewed videos, which is kind of crazy. Um, but yeah, I, I put a lot of effort into that. I basically spent about a week making it just to procrastinate university work, essentially. And out of that, I kind of was like, oh, damn, there's some demand for this. Like, there's, there was obviously already people on YouTube making um, making Enter the Gungeon content, like uh, Retromation um, and a few other people in the scene. But it wasn't that much, and I was kind of like, "Hey guys," in the comment. I think it was in the comment section of that. I kind of was like, kind of like, "Hey guys, what would people feel about me making a YouTube series out of this?" And a lot of people seemed to like the idea. Around 20 or so comments were like, "Hell yeah!" And I did it, and it ended up being pretty successful for a new channel, at least. It wasn't like insanely successful. I was still only getting like 100, 200 views a video. It wasn't anything nutty. Oh, I need some more damage. Uh, but. It was still much more than I was expecting, a reception that I was very, very happy to see. Um, and so I just had a very good time creating uh, Enter the Gungeon content. And basically, I started out my channel by just doing daily uh, uploads of Enter the Gungeon and trying to make a series. Parent sat boost when healing with red heart pickups. Interesting. That could be good later down the line, but not right now. Um, yeah, and I just started by doing Into the Gungeon, doing a 0 to 100% uh, series. And actually, that series is still really good to this day. I still I still go back and sometimes take a look at some of those older videos, and I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with how they turned out, to be honest. I think I think they went relatively well. Um, and the, again, they were just like nice cornerstones of being entertaining and informative like I intended, which was always nice. Um... And some people out there really enjoyed it. I know a few people here and there have gone back and taken a look at those. Always check the shop, might get a bed. Um, I've gone gone back and taken a look at those. And if you haven't, 
the audio quality isn't great, but otherwise I think they're decent watches, especially if you like Into the Gungeon, especially if you like Vanilla Into the Gungeon, which I haven't actually done on my channel in quite some time, so if you do want to go check that out, please feel free to. Um, and then I did like Hollow Knight. I, I started, after I finished um, Into the Gungeon, I started doing a Binding of Isaac. And yeah, then then I did like Hollow Knight and a few other things. Uh, and then like the, the the sort of big part of my success on YouTube or the big sort of burst of growth was when um, the the newest um, Into the Gungeon update came out called Farewell to Arms. That was the last update to ever release for the game. Uh, official release, at least. Um, and that was an update that just... Um, it added a bunch of new content, new boss, new characters, stuff like that. And a lot of people didn't really... Um, ooh, we got one of these new rooms. Although the map still isn't correct, so I have a feeling it's going to crash my game again. But I'll try it. I'll try it. Um, what I might do is I might just give myself the item and take it away with console, because last time it crashed my game and I, I don't want that. We'll find out, though. We'll find out. Um, but yeah, uh, Farewell to Arms came out and literally the day of it releasing, within an hour of it releasing, I released a tutorial on how to unlock the two new characters and because they were out so much earlier than everyone else's tutorials, they were pretty successful um, and I was, I was very happy about that. Ooh, hello. Double Soul of Isaacs. So let's, let's check this out first. Interesting. So first of all, I'm just going to exit and continue to make sure if it does crash that we have a fallback. Um, plus one blackout, 1.5 damage up. Future items have a chance to be replaced with the Necronomicon. Ooh. That's a bit cheeky, but I feel like I want the damage. <laughs> That's a little cheeky though. Um, hello. Oh, what? It's just... That's not funny. It's just not even an angel item. I keep forgetting that rerolling that doesn't give you an angel item. But yeah, now we have uh, this strange Necronomicon. So we get we get a damage up and chance to get the Necronomicon in the future. That's going to bum me out, I'm sure. I'm sure I'm going to get it a, a few inopportune times. But I, I really desperately did need a damage up. My damage was so pathetically low. Oh, this guy's eternal as well, so that was a really good usage of a bomb there. Oh, that was beautiful. Although it doesn't seem to be doing any damage to him. Oh no, there you go. It did a lot of damage to him. I lied. It did a lot of damage. Well, I'd love to have, um... To have used their Soul of Isaac there instead, but I don't know. Range might be kind of useful. Range might be kind of useful. But yeah, so I've been doing YouTube, like, daily. And I mean, like, actually daily. Like, at least an upload a day or two for literally four years at this point. Um, and it's it's weird to think. It is. It's weird to think it's been that long. But at the same time, it doesn't really feel like it's been that long. I feel like I've... Um, it's it's become such a, so, such a sort of normal part of my routine now that I don't, it doesn't really feel like a chore ever. The only, the only time it ever feels like a chore is if I've got to backlog because I'm going away, which is actually what I'm doing at the moment, which isn't so bad because I'm enjoying myself. But um, I've got a wedding this weekend that I mentioned in the last episode. Uh, that's coming up, so I'm backlogging for that currently. Um, and that normally, ooh, that was lucky. That normally um, results in me creating just a lot more videos than normal. Also, this little baby needs to heft right off. Yeah, it usually results in me creating a lot more videos in a lot shorter time span than normal, which is normally, it's it's fine, but sometimes it can be a little much just because it's a lot of videos to be creating at once. Also, getting hit a lot right now, you doofus. Yeah, yeah, it can, it can be a little much. So that's the only time it ever feels like a bit of a chore. But even then, I still I still enjoy creating them. I still liking I still like the medium of just having a place to like vent and stuff. Okay, I'm not getting great items at the moment. I'll be honest, but at least they're not getting swapped with Necronomicons, and we got a crawl space here as well. You would just get a Necronomicon here now. We didn't. But we did get something kind of interesting. Now that is an item I very much do not want. That item is big trash. I really want someone to rework how that uh, little fella 
does his business. But I was hoping we wasn't going to have a similar situation to last episode with the, uh, the death certificate, because that would have... Was it last episode or episode before? That, that just crushed me? Hey, my money. My money. Golden key is also kind of nice. I think this is a secret room here. Just a cell heart, but I'll bond through here because it's a nickel dude. Nickelad boy. Oh my god, I just keep walking into everything. It's terrible. It's terrible. We need some red hearts. I just want to make use of Pyro at some point. Oh, she's going to be like Dr. Fetus or something. Anything to make it work. Oh, like the torn card would also be nice. Oh, I'm loving my mini Isaacs right now. They're going ham. I don't know why one of them's a little different than the other, but... I'll accept him for how he is. He's a good boy nonetheless. They are good fellas. Good fellas. But I gotta say, it's, it's just weird to think sort of when I when I look back and think, oh damn, I've been doing this a long time. And honestly as well, like, a lot, I've had people say to me before, like, especially friends in real life where they're like, but you're only on like this many subs. How are you like, how do you still have the motivation to go? Especially friends that have tried it themselves and get like, demotivated by not getting enough views and stuff like that which is definitely a factor like i i definitely go through phases oh you bitch i'll take it but i do not like it um especially um especially like when i, I go through times of just being kind of down about my views it is not super often that i do but sometimes it can just get to you a bit when you're like You'll be like making your content, especially mine. That, that I'm, I'd have to say I'm relatively proud of my content. I think I think I make reasonably. Neptunus is really nice here. Uh, I still think those guys are really really powerful, but oh well. Um, yeah, I think I, um, especially when I think my content is relatively good. I, I don't I, like I don't have any problem with the with the uh, quality of my content. I think I do a decent job. I don't. I'm hoping people agree, but I don't actually know. But yeah. Um, it's a little annoying when you see like a channel pop up that just like, not not to not to ha say any ill will towards these people because fair fair beans if they're doing their thing and and being successful off of the back of it uh, it's, it's fair enough but it is always a little annoying when you're like um, ooh this this could be bad for us here could you calm down oh you bitch oh I might die to this guy he he has like virtually no warning signals before he brimstones. Okay, no, we got him, we got him. Lump of coal is really nice here, especially with the range upgrades we've had. Uh, yeah, it's always a little bit disheartening when, like, you see, like, especially over the past, like, six months or so, maybe even a little longer, um, where I do Isaac content every day, and I realize commentary channels aren't for everyone, so the, there is that factor. But when, like, a channel pops up that just, like, plays a run, edit it down to 10 minutes and put some subtitles over it and gets like 24 fucking thousand views on it and it's like rub salt in the wound oh dude i'm gonna die rub salt in the wound just a little bit <laughs> and it's like fair play to those people people enjoy the content obviously that's why they're watching it um i was really hoping and kind of needing a soul heart of that and i did not get it terrorist genesis might actually help us here Oh, got a health up. That's not actually enough, though. A health up doesn't do anything for us right now. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, we don't have any bombs. I tried to heal myself with a bomb. We don't have any. Um. Although, we will lose Horror Babylon if we heal, but I kind of need to. Um. Yeah, I'm going to say it's like no ill will to those people. They are they're doing what they want to do, and it's been successful. Like, good on them. But it is always a little annoying that, like, YouTube's algorithm works the way it does, where it's just like, hey... Here's your content that you put a lot of effort into. And it's like, fine, I'm not saying they don't put a lot of effort into their content, but it's it's definitely a different style. But it's still just like, well, hey, I've been doing this so long and I feel like I'm doing pretty well at it. And YouTube's like, <laughs> psych. Like, I've been I've been favoured by the algorithm recently, so I'm happy about that. Like, over the, over the past, like, probably like four or five months, I feel like the algorithm has done a good job of... Uh, throwing some attention my way and I'm actually really happy with my views and stuff but when I was like at the peak of repentance release and I'm getting like this is terrible uh, oh god this who the fuck did that which one of you was that 
Which one are you? We're going to greed mode. Which one of you was that? Because that is horrible. That is evil. I didn't know there was an enemy at the end of that corridor. You devious little shits. That's just mean. A hey, lump of coal again. And three keys there too. That is terrible for us. Another key, but yeah, that is... Oh, it gives us plus five coins though. I didn't realize that. I mean, it is kind of good, but I don't see it being super useful. Um, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Nothing really in here I want either. That, yeah, that, that, that room was evil. I, I don't know how anyone can create that and feel good about themselves. <laughs> that is just horrible. Horrible room design. I thought it was just to, like, I thought the idea was just that I, I'd get trapped at the end of the corridor and that was the challenge. Not that there'd be a fucking Viz at the end of the corridor that starts firing their brimstone before I can even see them. That's just mean. But anyways, what's done is done. What's done is done. I was on way too low health. That was my fault. But, like, come on now. Still shouldn't be something I died to. But, yeah, so, so, so sometimes it can be easy to get yourself down about those sorts of things. Where you're, like, you, you compare yourself to other channels. It's really a bad idea to ever do that. Also, I haven't been using this enough. Yeah, it's, it's really a bad idea to ever do that. You should never compare yourself to others. Because... The YouTube algorithm is a literal mystery. There's no point trying to make logic or sense out of what the hell it's doing currently. If you do, you're only going to upset yourself. And like I said, you do sometimes. But it is unfortunately just how you think. And it's easy to get into that trap of thinking like, why isn't my channel doing as good as theirs? What is my content not as good as theirs sort of thing? It's a, it's a very, very easy trap to fall into. And it is, it is unfortunate. But at the same time, it's kind of like, Fair play. Those people, are, those people are doing what the algorithm wants and I'm not, apparently. So if they're going to reap the rewards of that, good on them. And I, I realize as well, like, there's, there's, there's another factor to it of, like, sometimes people don't want commentary. Commentary kind of peaked and now is dying off a little bit. People don't want commentary as much as they used to. I really shouldn't have used my... Uh... My box then they have no reason to oh this is dude stop with these ghosts moving like that why is this one a champion too oh my lord why is that one a champion go away also can't hit this guy for a massive portion of the wall that's good god damn it i'm not i'm not going into that devil deal uh i'll do a few re-rollies here Red stew. Yes, red stew. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. We're off, we're off. Keep this damage going. We gotta be speedy here. Gotta keep that red stew damage flowing. That's great. Not only is it familiar, that's also great. Yeah, not only is it a familiar that doubles, but it's one that gives us an extra life too. And also, it's one that can create coin tiers, so... I feel like this is going to reward us quite a lot, hopefully. Terrible champion to get here. Yeah, the other one is firing at me. Okay, they don't have full range. That's okay. God damn, these green champions that split into more enemies just keep spawning. But this is a good setup now. Okay, don't use any more uh, space bars here. We don't need to. God damn it, Horn. Go away. Nobody likes you. Oh my god, the damage. Oh my god, the damage. Red stew is popping off. Angel deal first. 
Seraphim is probably the better one here, just because it's a, a familiar. Quickly check out the shop. I don't think X-ray means much to us. That's good. And we head away. Let's go, 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 go. Move out, people. And we got... Papafly, another familiar, which is actually a really good familiar. Papafly scales off of your damage, so pretty good stuff. And then quickly see if there's anything we want to grab from here. No, we do have some familiar upgrades available. I just want tier effects now to work with my familiars. We are wrecking right now, though. We've got a very good suite of familiars going on. Not more of you, Vizzies. Not more of you. No thanks. I'm full. The Papa Flies are everywhere. Yeah, the Papa Flies are so strong. They're really good. Like, when you have one of them, it's not so good. When you got multiple and they're all firing tears that are your damage, pretty good going. Pretty good going. Damn it, I missed every single shot there. Okay. We're still getting a good amount of damage. The good thing is we're killing so many things that Red Stew's damage is keeping up for a lot longer than it would normally. Loki, Noki. I don't want you Loki. Stop jumping around so I can actually fucking kill you instead of you skipping all over town. Stop jumping around, dude. Do some other attacks. God. Beautiful. Oh, we got a devil deal this time. Although we have a lot more health now, so I will check it out. Another familiar. Gimme, gimme. Um, ooh, I will take this. That gave us some interesting stuff. Creates, creates a treasure chest nearby. Kind of interesting, but unfortunately not great for us. Um, then I think we do some upgrading. Seraphim and Seraphim again. Good day, sir. Good day. I think we have a very good suite of familiars here. The only thing is, we're only going to get one doubling on the boss. That's always the thing that kind of is a bummer with this. Unless you get, like, car battery or something, you're only ever going to get one doubling on the actual boss. The stars align. Ooh, that was close. That was close. Terror, most definitely. Rerolls our HP. I do not care. Blood cop's rather nice. Yeah, Terra's going to be good here. But also, now all of our familiars get Terra. So they're going to get scaling damage and be able to shoot through rocks. The shooting through rocks thing isn't really a, a great thing, I'll be honest. There's going to be fire left everywhere. There's going to be holy light shots coming out too. Lump of coal is going hard too. This is beautiful. You can see the homing terror shots from uh, Seraphim here. Wonderful. My goodness. All we need now is like piercing. Where does this coin key come from? Haven't I picked this up like a bunch of times? Hello, sir. You didn't die to that? God damn, you have a lot of health. At least we're not getting hit much. I mean, there's basically no opportunity for us to get hit, really, so... Okay, last one. Oh, well, hello there, sir. I think you're going to take quite the beating here. Unfortunately, as you can see, our damage is dri 
dripped off, dropped off quite heavily. But Terra's still in there to help us out. Seraphim doing a good job as well. It's not all bad. Skolex here. A lot of fire, so Skolex should die pretty quick to the fire, right? I don't even know where you are right now. Oh, you're there. Okay. You are going to die. We got perfection somehow. I don't think I've ever had perfection in this mode, but I don't think it's worth taking, actually. Oh, what the shit? How am I meant to dodge this? Oh, my God. I just got to get far enough away, I guess. That's a little rough. I guess the, the way is to go, like, left and right around him. Yeah, it is, yeah. There you go. Another devil deal. I don't think that either of them are worth it. P um, the, the, the red ghost is good right now, but on the boss it's not going to be so good. Plus one damage is kind of needed here. Oh, Judas isn't that good. We do have a golden pill here. I will gamble on a golden pill. Why not? It literally got used once. Thanks. Something is wrong. My golden pill damn don't work. I've not actually been able to go to the cathedral once yet. It's always taken me to the wrong floor, but yeah. <laughs> it says cathedral, so it's trying. Spec could be good. Hanged man, that's really, really good. Um, stomp multiple times. On oh, three, oh, that's very, very good. This here is incredible. The sprinkler is also very, very good. <laughs> Yeah, let's use it on waves so that we can kill stuff easily. There you go. The coins, yeah, the coins don't disappear, so... We're good to just leave them where they are. Sadly, enemies that aren't giving us coins are spawning. I'm missing out on a few bits and bobs here and there. Oh, for God's sake, stop spawning more enemies that fucking can't give us coins. It's been the biggest waste of time in my life. They're trying to roll into me, sirs, but I have so much knockback. So much knockback you won't believe. Okay, that's a lot of money. Now that's a lot of money. I think it's finished now, yeah, it just finished. We got it just in time to kill that guy. I want more tear effects now. And maybe more fire rate. My god, Seraphim's just the carry right now. Seraphim carries hard. Oh my lord, you jumped over my head. When do you ever jump over? You always jump towards, not over. That's just racist. Okay, you're going down. If we get close enough and it just wrecks me. Right, devil deal now. I don't know what the other boss is here. Oh, it's Monstro 2, okay. Monstro 2 isn't too bad. He's a bit of a babby. I don't actually know what the eternal version of him does, but one of the things is leave Brimstone Creep, because that is something that all the eternal enemies do if they have the chance. Sack Dagger's actually really good, because it just it's just going to create like a 
orbital storm for us. Let's do some re-rolling here. That's good. That's good. We can't break the game because money doesn't drop on the floor with that, so that doesn't really matter. Uh, I think we go with this for fire rate. And then... Maybe try this and see if we can get a bit more money. Nope. Okay, we're out. We are out. Having conjoined here is rather nice. And we got Botfly as well. Does Hive Mind do much for us? I wouldn't think so. How come we're getting coins for destroying rocks? I'm not understanding that. Buddy in a box. Get him all the way upgraded. Good, good. But yeah, now we have a lot of protection too. With rubber, fly, and sack daggers. And we also fire triple the amount of tears. Which means one third the frame rate, but... I'll deal with that, I guess. Eternal fella here. We're dealing with him slowly but surely. It's kind of slow going with the Eternal fella, but... He'll go down eventually. Oh, look, another one. Not Eternal this time, but still. Come on, we like herming or piercing or something to speed this up. I can't tell if we're killing things really slowly or if it is just because the frame rate is so much lower than normal. God damn, I can't even get this guy. Why doesn't Terra just destroy the mask on his face? Also, just run into enemies at this point because sack daggers. Sack daggers are so good. Oh shit, <laughs> there's a Herman guy behind me. I didn't even see him. Yeah, we won't, we won't use our space bar anymore because we need to save a, a usage for the boss, I think. We've got so many of them as well already. I think the boss might end up being a little rough. We'll see. Double death. Death does have some boss armor, so he's going to be a little bit of a pain. Especially if he sits in the corner, I miss most of my shots like this. In fact, switch targets. Go for the one that's not sat in a corner. I was like, for a minute there, I was like, where's my Neptunus? And I realized, okay, it's impossible to keep them out of the corners. We just force them straight back in. Like, even when I'm not firing, the FPS is still unbelievably low. Ow. I think it's kind of good we got some money out of it. Ah, did you just telefrag me, sir? Did you just telefrag me as well? Excuse me, sirs. This is most rude. There's another death somewhere. Oh, he's up here. I'm gonna sack dagger you. You're annoying me. There you go. Get sack daggered. And this thing's just a pain in the ass. Oh, stop spawning where I can't get to you with Sack Dagger. There you go. Does the light dissipate when we stop shooting? 
kind of, but not really. This thing's shooting at me. I don't know where the boss is at all. Oh, here he is. Got him just about. Devil deal just in case. I will take that. Extra damage. I'll take that as well. Why not? Yes. Way higher fire rate. Don't think Hive Mind does anything for us, right? Come on. Ooh, if we can get a secret room, which shouldn't be too hard. Can you get secret rooms in this last floor? Apparently not. I thought we would be able to find a secret room somewhere around here, but... Oh, it might be in the cash room, to be fair. Let's try that out. It is, okay. Right, come out here. Buy this real quick. Back in here. Pop this in here. Sackhead. A little bit late for that. Thank you, nonetheless. And then... I don't really know what else to grab here. I guess just more HP and shot speed. Why not? Yeah. Works out for me. Let's go. Okay, not quite sure how this is going to end up going. Because we only get one doubling, remember, so that's not great. But we have got a lot of familiars, so... We already fire a lot of tears. I just wish it was significantly easier to aim. And we've also seen that this guy can die pretty quick. We've also got sack daggers if we want to try and use those, although... With the knockback we have going on right now, I don't really think that's the best idea. Yeah, the knockback from Terra is actually terrible. Terra terrible. Because I'm just, I can't actually hit this guy properly. Like two of the keys did come to fruition as well. Some of these guys are going to be eternal, although I don't know what that means. It's just like, I don't know, it feels, it feels like... Susceptibly weak. Like, weaker than we should be. Like, his health's going down moderately fast, but not that quick, really. Ooh, we need that real quick. Before he gets it off. Oh, we can't destroy any of these in time, or very few of them. Saying that, I managed to get all but two. Still annoying though. But yeah, it's going to be kind of slow going here, but I think we've definitely got it. He's already halfway dead, and we've not really done much. He's only hit us once. He's just over halfway. I just think I need to be closer to hit more shots at once. But that's just a dangerous game to play. I suppose with a knockback, it's not so bad. I should be careful he doesn't charge forward like he just did. Ow. It hit me with something there. I don't know what. Hit him with a bomb. Why not? Speed up the process by a single bomb. It's not much, but it's something. I can't even hit these dudes to keep us in front. Ah, I swear, when he does this spin attack, his hitbox is way bigger than it actually is. 
I was nowhere near him then. I mean, I was, but like, I was nowhere near his hitbox. He's a cheeky boy. He is a cheeky boy. Ah, Foxy. I think we got him though. I think we got him later. And second phase isn't so bad. It's a little more difficult to survive, but he has less health in the second phase. Or at least I think he does. I'm not actually 100% sure if that's true. But it feels like he always dies a bit quicker in the second phase. Yeah, he's definitely going down faster now. I love his health bar in this phase too. It looks so good. And I think... Not always, but for the most part, you can kind of stand still to avoid a lot of his attacks. Like that one's, I was going to say, that one's going to hit us, but that just is what it is, I guess. He's going to try and seek out the coins when he can. Stop dropping bombs directly on top of me, that'd help. The doors were open and careful. I love that door attack as well. The attack pack, this, this is just a really cool boss. I just wish it wasn't so reliant on explosives and so reliant on it having just high boss armor. But God damn, there's just too many bombs. It's insane. Ah, shit. The rock formations, the bullshit. I tried to get my bomb in there. I think it hit actually, yeah it did. Okay, he is just a short amount off of dead. The brimstones aren't gonna hurt me, sir. There you go, we got him. Little bit of an annoying fight, but in the end we got there. Makes up for that loss early on. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. A nice little win. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.